Number six from paper two of the 2016 new hire. There we go, the little growth equation here. Five marks. Part A simply says state the number of bacteria present. This little equation tells you the number of bacteria you'll find after T hours. And obviously that 200 must be what they start at because when T is zero, it's E to the zero, which is just one. And it does say just state, so I don't think you actually need to write down 200 e to the power zero, you can just say the number of bacteria present at the start, B, zero, I'll put it down as 200. And there's no units, it's the number of bacteria, but if you want to play safe, bacteria. Now part B, calculate the time taken for the number to double for four marks. Well, since you know how many there are to start with, you can say what double the number is going to be. So you can go in with this. You can go in with 400 will be equal to 200 e to the 0 0.107 t if it's going to double. Or if you felt you need to justify it in case there's a mark there, you could say the doubling time, that will be 2 times 200, which equals 400 if you want a justification of why you're using the 400. But in the end, it's just going to cancel out. So you're going to have e to the 0 0.107 t will equal 2. Then you've got your log dilemma. I'm just going to use the legitimate inverse. Inverse of exponential is log, so natural logarithm of 2. And finally, divide by that, ln2, over 0 0.107. Now it's just press the buttons and you're there. And you get 6.478 and so on, and that's in hours. Just round it off. 6.48 hours. And if you want to be fancy, because it costs no time at all with this calculator, just using the hours, minutes, seconds button, you just press that button and it tells you if you wish, that's 6 hours, for, ooh, 28 minutes and 41 seconds. And if that step is scary and you want to introduce logs, then from this line, before you get to this line, you could say take logs of both sides. LN e to the 0 0.107t equals LN2. That will pop to the front. 0 0.107 t times ln of e equals ln 2. But since ln of e, log base e of e is 1, that just becomes this line here, which inarguably is the inverse of the exponential.